What's going on guys? This is Ryan Knows Tech with TechInform.us. I know you can see my reflection, you MacBook Pro owners with the matte screen are laughing at me at my little 13 inch glossy display right now. But um, I did a couple of videos last week going over the unboxing and install of the OWC Mercury Extreme Pro SSD. It's the 115 gig one. I did the data doubler, put my old 320 gig drive in the optical bay right there. And I've had a lot of time to play with the SSD, figure out the speed, and it has been really awesome thus far. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're just going to boot into the SSD and play around. We'll do some uh, screen sharing footage. I know that's going to slow it down a little bit, uh, but we're only going to record in the native resolution instead of the 1080p back here on the big monitor. Maybe that'll help, maybe not. Um, and we're just going to see how quick it actually is. Is it better than a hard drive? I was very skeptical at first, to be honest. But uh, we are going to boot this up. I've got the clock uh, app open here on the iPhone. So as soon as I hit the power button, we're just going to hit stop. I do not have my password set right now. So when it hits the desktop, uh, we'll hit stop and um, see how long it takes. So uh, I know the kind of install that I actually did is going to make a big difference um, with how quick it actually is. I pretty much did a fresh install of Snow Leopard and then restored my apps and documents via Time Machine and then put all my media, the big files, on the, on the uh, regular hard drive. And the desktop is loading and there it is. So about 20 seconds you are into a usable... Um, environment. Before it would take two to three minutes to get there, then you click Safari, it would bounce 20 times, and finally it was there. And we might as well go over the rest of the specs of this machine. This is the Intel Core 2 Duo mid-2010 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's 2.66 gigahertz. We've got 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM in here, and uh, of course the Mercury Extreme Pro um, SSD, which makes things incredibly fast. If we go over in Firefox and Chrome, and we'll get into the desktop in... Uh, just a second. Welcome to the desktop in uh, Snow Leopard here with the SSD. We're just going to open a few applications, see how quick it is. I actually have a benchmark system test here. It's known as AJA system test. We're going to start off with that real quick. We're going to do a disk reader write of uh, only 128 meg. We'll save some time. And uh, let's start off with the hard drive. Again, in the optical bay right now, not running an operating system. We're going to do the the default video frame size, which is 720 by 486, and it's 8-bit. So we're going to do start. It's going to give us our write and our read speeds. We're looking at about 88.1 megs per second write at about 94 read. So that's what that looks like. Uh, let's switch drives over to the SSD and see what 88 and 94 goes to. 196 and just under 240, so it's an incredible difference in read and write speeds there. Uh, if you'd like the software, go ahead and Google it. I'll try to remember to put a link down there. It's AJA System Test. Pretty awesome. You can change whatever disk you want and do a whole bunch of different tests here. So uh, pretty cool. Anyways, uh, we're here. I have not opened up Safari. Or actually, did I did open up Safari, but um, everything is one bounce. You know, you got to wait for some internet uh, to load here. And uh, there's Firefox. There's a bounce. There's the internet. There's Chrome. Oh, took two bounces on Chrome. How about iTunes? I've got probably a massive iTunes library here. If we go to music, I've got 9.6 gigs. We'll quit that. Come over to Chrome, quit, Firefox, quit, Safari, quit, and quit. Uh, Photoshop, this is going to be CS5. There's one bounce. It's got a load of a couple things, and here it is, ready to create a new document. Cancel and quit. Uh, Final Cut Pro, that's a fairly large application. We've got one bounce to the splash screen. It's doing all of its templates and stuff, and there it is, very fast. We'll take a look at Word. Word is always one of the applications that would take a while for me. Now it's instantaneous. For example, when I paste the content in my videos, I have to open up Pages. I would literally hit that and then wait at least a minute for it. It is now one bounce. There's my templates. If I want to open a document that has uh, already been created, I can come right here. It indexes it fairly quickly, and there it is. Of course, it was open a second before that. Uh, some of the applications that are still a little slow would be iPhoto, but I've got a massive iPhoto library here. If I go over to Photos, you'll see that I have uh, 6,834 pictures. These are from uh, Las Vegas here. They're actually all over the place. If I go to places, they're just everywhere. At least uh, I consider that everywhere. But, um, you know, everything that I have tried to do is fast. It doesn't beach ball anymore, which it used to uh, actually quite often. Like if we go to Aperture, that's a relatively large program. It takes a second to open my library. There's a picture of me and my friend, and uh, it's it's just inst instantaneous. Definitely a good place to invest money if, uh, if you want to keep your MacBook Pro and 
And uh, well, it really, PCs too. SSDs are definitely the future. Every day you wait is probably a better day to buy it. I know from the time Colt, uh, the one who inspired me to get this, from the time he got it, uh, and then the month later when I got it, the price had already come down $10. So I would definitely uh, keep your eye out. And I do recommend OWC over companies like Intel. Uh, just go look at some benchmarks online and you'll see the differences. So uh, now we'll go back to the other camera and do a shutdown test. Righto, so now that we're done uh, playing around in there, we're gonna go ahead and do a shutdown test. Shutdown is always quick on a Mac. Now keep in mind that everything I opened is possibly still cached, but I have actually gone through and quit it all. So nothing is running, but we're just gonna hit shutdown. Once I click enter now, I'll hit start. Uh, I didn't notice as big of a difference with shutdown times. Um, it's never really more than 10 seconds, so there's about five and a half or six seconds. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so the MacBook Pro with an SSD, any machine with an SSD, it makes an incredible difference. I had a couple people tell me that their hard drives are going from desktop to desktop in like 20 seconds, and I'd like to see a video about that. But um, it's quiet. It's been using less power, even though my other drive is going, and I haven't actually ejected it. I just leave it in because I want to be able to open up iTunes and iPhoto and have my 120 gigs of content sitting there ready to go. I don't want to have to go into disk utility and mount a drive and get ready for it. But the SSD has been incredible performance. I really like it. The boot up time is probably the biggest thing I've noticed. And once you get to the desktop, it is instantaneously ready to do anything you want. Photoshop is three, four bounces at most, and you know it's got a lot of stuff to cache and put in RAM. So, um, big performance upgrade, I highly recommend it. So, the link to order one of these is down below. It's OWC, it's Other World Computing. If you Google that, you'll find the site. And um, go from there, you know, you'll figure it out. So, our site is techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then we host live web shows on Tuesday evenings between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's. Bye-bye.